In short, the Verve Collection was a Twitch drop from a few years ago, and it would be Loki's Verve skin with the helmet. There is the Redeemer. There is also a Ephemera, a domestic drone, and a few other things. And if you weren't able to get them then, you haven't been able to get them since because it was a Twitch drop and they just don't exist in Warframe. Till now. Starting the 29th of August at 2pm ET. Loki's Verve skin, the Verve sigil, the Verve emblem, would be nice if they were all present in the image, but never mind. The Redeemer skin, the Sandana, the Ifrit Kubro armor, the Verve... Well, I don't think I got that one. The Verve stencil. Really? The Rubido skin. The color palette. A Tigress skin. These aren't Verve. And it was on for about a year when it was on Twitch, so I did create a loadout that is called Loki Verve. Um, yeah, you'll notice the slight problem there is none of that is what it's supposed to be. And one of the big things that does seem to be missing, I mean, there's the Verve skin, the sigil, the emblem, the Redeemer skin. Check. Ifrit armor, stencils. Yeah. This is missing. Kitty agrees. This is just, um, it will be returning. The main thing about this is this is the first wave of Twitch drops that is actually going to be in the game without it being a Twitch drop, which means they're obviously saving the Verve Ephemera for next time round, and it did all of the stuff. All the problems I had with the Verve skin, this fixed, because you can see it has the, the movement. All of the bits are moving. Without it on, um, these bits on the front don't move. Turns out they weren't supposed to because, uh, yeah, they had an ephemera that basically adds that effect to the entire skin. Is that the right sigil? I wonder how many people just got triggered when I said sigil. I did mean uh, sandana. It is. Wow, so Saren was just wearing the wrong sandana the whole time. Oh, and I, I always loved the fact that the Redeemer fit so well behind this Sandana. The set together went ridiculously well. It really did. The Prominence Tiger skin, I believe it was. Prominence Tiger skin does fit very, very well with the actual look of the verb stuff. And the Verve armor for the the Ifrit armor. The Ifrit armor is one of my favorite ones for Kubro. And this, yeah, actually suits it very, very well. The reason my brain was on about sigils earlier is there it is. The Verve emblem on the shoulder. Two of them, in fact. But there is a Verve sigil that doesn't look too bad at all. Then there is also the, um, yeah, I typed that wrong. It's prominence sigil that matches just that little bit better because it matches the colors, but I couldn't bring myself to actually take that one off. It is all in all a really nice set of armor and a, just a nice look to the actual frame. It did originally come with a free Loki, but this time round will just be the skins themselves, same as the Redeemer. It did originally come with a Redeemer, hence the reason it is unranked. Uh, I cannot, for the life of me, remember what the prominent skins were actually from. But just to see the fact that the Verve collection will be returning is great. Because I've wondered how they were going to do this. Well, come August 29th at 2pm AT, you'll be able to find them here. On Maru's Bazaar, usually on Mars, because uh, Varsai is going to be selling them. 
They will be adding these into her ways, where all of the other Twitch drops are. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, we have previous Twitch drops that are actually located down here. That, okay, some of these are actually prime accessories and all the other stuff, but some of these were in fact from Twitch drops. So they are adding them in here to kind of give them a new home. It doesn't say when they will re be removed or anything else. It just says they are being added to her ways. And even if we scroll down over there, after the list of items that is coming, it just goes on to say whether you're looking for a complete collection or simply some of these items, because obviously they will be available individually, you will be able to pick them up from there. They will continue re-releasing con coveted items to the prime resurgence throughout the year Others earned it. to be added never told them as they continue to re-release watch for new there you see it's it says it right there waves of the verve customizations and more because there has been other things that have been twitch drops that haven't reappeared since they disappeared from there so does this mean she is going to have more drops or when they say new waves, they are going to rotate the Twitch drops in and out of the Prime Resurgence, meaning more people are actually likely to come here and go, oh, so what have you brought this time? Because, uh, yeah, limited time, limited time, limited time. It's all limited time. I don't know why you're doing that. The best thing about this, though, and I know you can't really say it because I got these things from Twitch, they will be obtainable with Aya. That doesn't count, that's a prime weapon. The accessories uh, have always been obtainable with Regal Aya, which is something you have to physically buy with real money, whereas the I Twitch drops have always been normal Aya, which you get from doing missions or opening relic packs. So here's hoping when it comes to that, and if I'm too you can buy oh yeah we worked that out didn't we that was um, not worth it for one hour but I guess if you don't want anything you can always convert them to ducats anyway the twitch drops have always been Aya not regal Aya if you missed out on the sleek blah blah they will be added to Varzai's ways in the Maru's Bazaar on Mars starting August 29th at 2 p.m. Uh, these items are returning from the void because they haven't had a home until now. Absolutely nothing on here says you will need Regal Eye to be able to pick these up. And all we can do is take a guess until they are actually added. But we know from previous Twitch drops, to be fair, there was uh, other stuff than just these two items that were Not Twitch drops. Not settle any old scores with your kind, Tenno. And I don't know where they Working are. With Aya? Like, at all. I saw the way your Ams carved people I loved in the gym. Hmm. Don't think I didn't. But we're all different people now. I'm starting to get a little bit uh, worried now. But, I'm sorry, I'm looking at these and trying to find out which ones were actually the Twitch drops and which ones weren't. Because there was Prime stuff that was just Twitch drops. This stuff isn't Prime anyway, so it really doesn't matter. The Prime stuff is Regal Eye. The Twitch drops aren't. So till then, we're just going to have to guess and hope, but it should be Aya, which is easily available in-game, rather than Regal Eye. Verve Collection, re-releasing August the 29th at 2pm AT. Vazai will have it on the on Maru's Bazaar. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.